everyone and welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've put one out, but that's not down to a lack of trying. I've started recording on a number of occasions, but simply haven't seen enough wildlife to make it worth posting. However, spring is here, the birds are singing and the days are getting longer, so it's a great time to be out and about, and the wildlife encounters should be a little bit more frequent. I've actually been out for the last couple of days and had some really nice encounters. However, I still haven't really got many pictures that I'm too pleased with, aside from that one of the roe deer fawn with its mother. So I'm going to bring you along with me this evening and tomorrow morning to see what else we can find. I'm really hoping that we'll come across some brown hair because I'd love to get a nice photo of one of them. And I've also left my trail camera out last night and also this evening. So assuming no one's stolen that, we can go through those photos tomorrow morning. Before we go any further, I wanted to show you some evidence here of a song thrush. Um, if you don't know what a song thrush is, look it up. It's a really nice looking bird, about the size of a blackbird, but much paler in colour. And I've got some evidence here of a really unique behaviour that they do. So you can see here, this snail shell has been completely obliterated here. And there's another one over here as well. And you can see here on this rock where it's been smashed, and snails are one of the song thrush's favorite food. Um, and this behavior is actually shown in one of the Hobbit films. Um, if you look at the very end of the first one, An Unexpected Journey, you'll see this behavior in action. So it's not often in a wildlife photography video that you can use the phrase, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, but I'm gonna do the closest thing to that right now um, because I found this this morning and I wanted to come back this afternoon and show it to you um, and it's an owl pellet um, and an owl pellet is basically something that the owls regurgitate um, it's the stuff that they can't digest so the fur and the bones of the of the animals that they eat so yeah have a look at this so you can just see it here and it's just basically comprised of like fur um, and bones as well if I turn that over you can see here all the bones which would be of like various mice and voles that it's eaten, um, which is really, really cool. It looks like quite an old one. And if I was an expert, I'd be able to tell you exactly what it's been eating. Um, I'm afraid I can't do that sadly, but still really, really interesting. And I suspect it's from a tawny owl um, based on the sounds that I occasionally hear around here. It's one of the only owls that I've heard um, in this particular area. I know that there are little owls and barn owls close by, but I think the most obvious one is tawny for me. There are a few air in this field. They're quite far away, so I've just been filming them and I just hope that one of them might come my way and come close enough for a photo. And there are also a few deer around as well, so yeah, fingers crossed.
there's a road parking. Just coming across this field and it's kind of coming my direction, so I'm going to wait here. See if I can get any closer. Oh my gosh. That was pretty epic. I really hope that this phone camera that I'm filming this vlog on picked that up, because if it did, then that is awesome. That robot came right up towards me. I think I got some nice images as well. That's perfect, that is. What a great evening to have brown hair and roe deer, especially a buck, come that close to me and for me to get photos. <sighs> come on. evening. I've had, a, I've had a couple of really frustrating days from my camera, <laughs> but this evening has made up for it just completely. Photos of Mudjack, Road Deer and Brown Hair and video of all of them as well. <sighs> Probably call it an evening there but can't, can't ask for much more. Oh my gosh. I've just seen a barn owl. Oh my gosh, bat, whoa. <laughs> bat just flew about 10 centimetres from my face there, but that's unbelievable. Um, as if this evening can get any better. I've seen a barn owl. I'll tell you what, that's what we're looking for tomorrow morning. <laughs> unbelievable. Good morning. It's disgustingly early. It's just before 5am and it's pitch black. I'm on my way to get him into position to see if I can find this barn out. We also need to talk about last night because it was absolutely crazy and not even crazy when I got home. About two years ago, I dug a pond for the wildlife. It's no bigger than one meter by one meter. So if you've got the space, I'd highly recommend doing it. It's quite easy to do. It doesn't cost a lot and it benefits a huge range of wildlife. And last night I saw a hedgehog drinking from it, which was so, so special. So yeah, if you can, dig a pond and just see what comes. All I'd say is make sure that the sides are gently sloped so if anything falls in, it can get out easily. But have a look at this video footage. I've used a red torch so I don't disturb the wildlife. No barn owl yet, but... I'm in position in this field and I've got, I think, the same right here that I saw the other night with our two fords, but they're way the other side of the field, so I'm not disturbing them, which is good. And there are a couple of hares as well, so it's as good a place as any to wait for a barn owl, who, to be honest, I don't think will show up, but I've got to give it a go. That was just so nice watching those two fawns with their mum from a distance and have them acting naturally. I've moved on now and I'm going to get up on the barn owl because the fawns were coming slightly closer to me and I really didn't want to disturb them so I think the best thing to do is leave that field um, and go search elsewhere for some deer, muntjac, brown hairs, 
Uh, probably no barn owl now, but we can still have a great morning. I've just been filming some kits. A kit is a baby rabbit and they are so, so cute. I was doing that, a munchak appeared as well, which I managed to get a nice photo of. Oh my goodness. That was incredible. I had a female rider come straight down the hedgerow towards me and stop short about three to five meters away. Unbelievable. Quite often they'll come quite close because they, they hear the shutter. And when you're dressed a bit like I am and, and you're low in the grass, they don't know what you are. So they're quite curious and you're not posing a threat. Um, and this one just kept coming closer and closer. Got some really nice photos, I think. I haven't actually had a look yet, but um, yeah, hopefully I have. Um, I'll show you now how close it came kept coming closer and closer. What a beautiful animal. Wow. I mean, look how close it came. And then it looped around a little bit and approached from the other side as well before wandering off into this hedgerow here. saw one coming down towards me so I quickly hit the deck again and sure enough it came and again it's just gone off into the same hedgerow as the deer this is clearly quite a good spot I can't believe how much luck I'm having again this morning I really thought last night was gonna be the peak but it's continued today as well I know I say I've been lucky, but to be honest, I think it's actually just proof that if you put the hours in, it, it pays off because, um, you know, it isn't just luck. It's it's three, five a.m. alarms in a row over the weekend and, and it's, it's getting out before it's night and staying out until it's dark. Um, and actually the first two days that I did that, I wasn't seeing much at all. Um, but over the last 24 hours, yeah, it's paid off. So, yeah. Whilst there's an element of luck in terms of like being in the right place at the right time, it's it's a whole load more than that. It's uh, it's the early starts and it's the scouting locations, um, so that you know exactly where to place yourself. Uh, and yeah, yeah, I'm just really pleased that it's all coming off eventually. So I've just picked up the trail camera and had a look through it. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like um, the sort of the light is working correctly at night, so it hasn't picked anything up during the night time but it's got a few things during the daylight hours, um, including roe deer, muntjac, and also the backside of a badger as well. Um, so it's always nice to see badgers around because I've never actually seen one here in person, only via the trail camera. Um, so good to know that they're still about. Mm -hmm. 